Dogs Johnson versus Spongy. Alright, Falcon. I'm surprised Dogs didn't go Pika here. Very strange. Here we go. Big opening for Falcon. That down air. Not gonna be the stock. That is. Dogs Johnson going Falcon against Spongy here, though. What do you think? Falcon versus Spongy. I actually don't think it's too bad of a pick. Just because of the I way that... He, I thought he would have won Pika for sure. I can see him going either character. But, uh... Spongy. Dogs' playstyle is just... It's pretty good versus Kirby. He's very reactionary, and that's what you need to be versus Kirby. I don't know if it'll pay off here, though. Spongy's really good. So this is losers, correct? Is this losers? This is losers quarters, maybe? Who did Spongy lose to? I don't I know. Remember. Yeah, losers quarters. So Spongy currently down, but playing really smart. Right to ledge. Another up to into Nair though. That should be more than enough to take this Falcon stock here. I kind of wish that Spongy would stay on the ground a little bit more and just let Dogs play top. It's being in the air can be rough as Kirby. That's true. Especially versus a grounded Falcon. Catches nice. him back here into a pivot up to. Ooh, misses the uh, Ooh, back air really in the air. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't do a rising back air there. Definitely would have caught him. It is surprising. I, I'm not sure what Dogs likes to play in tournament anymore. If it's Falcon or Pika. Yeah, I mean, I've seen him play both today, so... So maybe it's just he just really likes this this matchup because I remember when I used to play Falcon a lot like I actually didn't mind this matchup at all. Really? You just have to play a certain way. Yeah, I mean I, I feel if the Kirby just plays doesn't make any mistakes, it's like impossible to get in as Falcon. The thing is that if you feel like you're the better player then it doesn't matter. And I'm sure Dogs feels like he's better than Spongy, so that's probably what he's thinking. Not looking like it right now. I'm thinking he's switching to Pika right He might this. switch to Pika just to, you know, continue in the tournament. I know, I'm pretty sure he wants to get another shot at Bark if he can. Oh, definitely. Because that, that set didn't look too clean. Uh, I mean, do you think that Dogs thinks he's not better than Spongy? No, I think Dogs does think yeah, he's better exactly. than Spongy. That's why I think he's going Falcon. I think he could, he thinks he can take it with Falcon, which I'm sure he can. But sometimes it just doesn't I don't go know that way. That. I give Spongy probably winning at least eight out of ten of these. Definitely not. No. Eight out of ten is a lot of games. Three, and the first game is always 50. you're always still feeling it out. So it's it's oh, not then I, then I it's not indicative stays, of what's uh, gonna keep happening. So. I hope Dog stays Falcon then, because I think he's just gonna get whooped even worse. Swungy just plays too smart of a Kirby, dude. Look at him. He's like a ball of hitbox. Nah, it's just one game. You can't take it as proof of anything. If you say so. Like it's it's only a one stock game. Only? He's at 78%. Yeah, but, I mean, Falcon should be dying off a of one hit anyways, so. I use that for that, for sure. Can't look at that. I'd be interested to see where, like, who he picks after this. Uh, I think it's 100% a Pika switch we're about to see here. Yeah, if it's not best of five, then he's probably going to go Pika. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's yeah. best of three. Just because it's not even... Him picking Pika is not even him like admitting defeat. It's just that it's, no, it's way. Not if you're the better defeat. player, you want to play a character that gives you more survivability. Yeah. Because you and you're going from what's Falcon's worst matchup potentially to now Kirby's worst matchup. 
I, I was playing Spongy earlier today in friendlies as Pika, and uh, he can definitely win this too. So. Oh, 100%. I think Spongy is trained in this matchup, uh, probably more than in the Falcon matchup. He just needs to definitely play his game, play, play patient. Because when, when he was like doing well versus me, it was, he was playing patient. Who, dogs? No, no, Spongy. Oh, Spongy. And I was playing him earlier today. But, I mean, it was just friendlies, but it can apply in tournament as well. From what I've seen, like that, Spongy. like there, he just waited and pivot up tilted. Yeah, he's just always playing a very smart. Game. That was that amazing. Really make mistakes. He definitely makes mistakes. <laughs> let's oh, yeah. not get, let's not get out of hand. Yes, if he didn't make mistakes, he'd be you know one of the best players that we see. I mean, yeah, everything I'm saying is relative to yeah. the skill level, obviously, but. Should be an edge guard here from Dogs. Ooh! Uh, he, he got faded. greedy there. He should have just went faded. back to stage. I agree. But it's alright. A little down tilt by side plat. Get him off. Here we go. Nice opening from Dogs. Uh, I don't think that combos. Unless it's at zero. So. Maybe he was trying to go for an up air or something. Starting to really find a space in here. Big nair from Spongebob. Yeah, the Pika pick definitely shows that he's not as confident. But it's also like a safety pick. Big up if you're the better player. Oh, yeah. I mean, just think about the matchups, man. Going from Falcon to Pika against the Kirby. And it gives you more time. Like, Falcon does not give you enough time to adapt. As, as much as Pika does, because you can get hit off stage mul multiple times, and like you can think during that time. As Pika, you've got to be a flash card Kirby, I think. If the Kirby has very like good recovery, the best thing to do really is just to wait for Kirby to like get close to stage. Just react. Because if you like, great, great. Because Kirby is really good at counter hitting if you overcommit. But this is looking very good for Spongy right here. Yeah. <laughs> One big combo led to a stock at that time at the. I, I kind of wish if he was going to go Pika that he would have went Pika from game one. Just because, like, you got to warm up the Pika versus, you know, versus Kirby. Yeah, I figure out that spacing a little bit. Yeah, and a lot of Kirbys play different. Not every Kirby, you know, plays on the ground or in the air or a mix. Jump timings is definitely a big thing. It's a shield break. What does Sponge do here? Half smash? smash? Yeah. yeah not gonna do There's it, not much though. you can do there. Great read on that back. Downer. Ooh. Dogs doesn't get back, and he's in the same predicament he was as Falcon here. Down two full stocks, basically. That's off with a nice F throw, though. This is still doable if he gets this. Near. Yep. Very doable here. So it's gonna get punished every time at zero. Dog's doing a good job of avoiding combos though. We gotta play? Uh be one second left. I kinda wish that dogs would do more back airs. Yeah, I haven't seen Because much or if he's gonna do up air, I'd rather him drift away as he's doing it, because he's just getting counter hit a lot of the time and up air doesn't really net you anything for Kirby. Like right there he didn't get anything. That back air gets you a tech chase, he messed it up, but you get the point. I think Spongy here just knows all he needs to do is get some extra credit damage. Yeah, I think he tried it back here, then he rolled by accident. Must have. 
there's a big up tilt there. You can't connect off it. Sponge is just glued to the platforms right now. Yeah, there's this weak back air. Oh, he's at grab percent. Or throw percent, rather. It's really hard to get in on Kirby sometimes because his oh, backer yeah. is so huge. That guy with the up tilt is that it? Yeah, that's yep, it. That's it. Spongy takes it easy. Spongy takes it. I don't think every. I don't think anyone was really expecting that, but Spongy is a good player, so I'm not too surprised about it. And Neil had to go play his match, so I guess I'm commentating by myself.